what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this will be my spoiler free review for the newest film old old is written and directed by m night Shyamalan, who many of us know highs and lows for m night i am a fan of m night i am a fan of this movie too i like this movie i'll just get that out of the way the film itself stars guile garcia vicky creeps or creeps rufus seawall ken luing nikki amuka berg abby lee aaron peer alex wolf and then it also has another cast member aaron peer now this film is revolving around a family on a tropical vacation that discovered the secluded beach that they are relaxing on for a few hours is somehow causing them to age rapidly reducing their entire lives into a single day now again as i mentioned m night directs and writes this as he does with a lot of his movies honestly he is in his bag in terms of the skill skillful direction on display here he keeps the movie very fast paced you're on the edge of your seat the entire time your mind will be constantly trying to figure out what is going on here on this beach what is happening to these people why is this happening to them what is it that we're that we're being led to that they probably are missing because the way he hones in on certain aspects on the on certain objects on screen the way he captures certain things this movie is wonderfully directed it's skillfully directed it's some of his best direction i'll say in quite some time because the pacing is the biggest the biggest um assistance to this to this narrative that gets kind of clunky at times you don't really get too many reasons to care about the characters on this beach the main family in and of itself they're kind of underwhelming by the time we get to this get to the end of the film because you have so many other people that are in this thing with them for the for the middle ground and you know when you do that with movies you have these these group films these, these group films such as like jeepers creepers 2 for those of you who watch my jeepers creepers videos when you have like a group of people like this you don't really get to focus on one individual or one group of people the way you probably should have if they're intended to be the main characters like this main family clearly is made out to be by the end of it but you don't learn enough about them to care what happens to them they're just all very one note characters some of them are honestly unlikable too one is one is like a racist honestly he's a racist <laughs> from what i took from it there is some humor to be had or some humor present in this screenplay so i'm glad m night uh has some shades of humor in it they don't it's not overly humorous where it takes you out of the severe nature of what's going on um m night of course has his signature cameo no surprise there but the twist that comes it's kind of like oh okay i'll, I'll take it but you know question mark question mark question mark it doesn't make complete sense the performances along the way with this narrative again that's the biggest selling point when you can have performances to uh assist with a screenplay that might be lacking in in this film's case it's lacking on being coherent in several ways it's lacking on being uh properly developed or providing properly developed characters to become invested in and, and give a crap about what happens to them but the performances of everyone you are going to care for them because of these performances i feel like i feel like the performances make up for that absence of development alex wolf honestly is the standout here to me he is for the time that he's on screen anyway for the because several different several different people play the children the children are the ones as seen in the trailer that are being affected by this for the for the biggest aspect or for the biggest um majority of the film the adults are affected too but the primary focus is on the children when alex wolf is on the screen his the way he kind of just is able to embody this emotionally tarnished character not just here but in other films like hereditary he he does a great job at giving you these emotionally draining performances from him and you will feel bad for for this character that he portrays even though again they're they're underdeveloped they they really are uh, the score in this film by trevor gurekis just another wonderful accompan accompaniment to m night's direction here you will literally be engaged the entire time i'm, I'm not over exaggerating when i say that the movie has its problems with its script it i see why a lot of people will have an issue with it when this movie is released there are a lot of things that just are like m night 
what are you doing <laughs> or honestly it's only furthering the argument that m night should let other people write movies he directs he sh his screenplay work it has some room for room for growth still the movie is very thought-provoking the themes of the movie such as like youth or uh youth being wasted on the young or fun being wasted on the youth or taking taking life for granted or life is too short so some of those are some of the underlying themes i felt were on portray on portray here or on display here but the narrative still at the end of the day it has a lot of holes in it but going back to trevor grekis his score it makes so many of these scenes very impactful and emotional and heartwarming and gripping and there is this atmosphere that M. Night manages to pull off very well here. You are going to be very uncomfortable with this film. Anyone who is watching this and again watching it, you're engaged. M. Night is going to have you very uncomfortable. You're going to be unnerved by this movie. This movie, there's not a single moment where I feel like you will be comfortable until you are finally able to breathe by the end when the resolution comes and you find out what's going on and other things that happen at the end that kind of were like the breath of fresh air for the audience because the entire time m night has you by the neck and you are just being put through this emotionally draining experience when it comes to how he directs it and how everything is so fast paced and again while it's skillfully done this same direction is one of the things that that is a damper on the lack of development with the characters because you don't spend enough time with them to necessarily care what happens to them but the primary family in and of itself again the performances from everyone on all angles very solid job alex wolf was a standout i enjoyed this film it's a mixed bag at times if you want to consider it a mixed bag overall i wouldn't blame you there either i'd honestly gonna i'd honestly give it a seven out of ten i was gonna lean to a six and a half but i'm gonna give it a seven i like this movie a lot it's not great but it's also not bad or terrible let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future all right my guys i will see you in the next video